in the shadow of the central line, which is just there, Greenford Station, I've come to an HS2 site, Green Park Way. They got in touch to kindly say, we've got this huge ventilation shaft, actually two of them. Would you like to be lowered down inside of it and have a look around and we'll explain to you what's going on? Yes, please. This is the Green Parkway vent shaft, roughly in the middle of the North Holt Tunnel, which is split into a west and eastern section. There are actually multiple vent shafts being built and installed along this section of the tunnel, as well as some in the Eastern Tunnel as well, which is to the east of Old Oak Common Station. There's a main shaft and a satellite shaft, which you can see here from this drone shot. And one of the main challenges here is therefore dealing with the amount of groundwater that gets inside. But this isn't just a vent shaft, it's also going to be the extraction point for tunnel boring machines. There are two working on the western section of the North Hot Tunnel heading east, and there are two tunnel boring machines that are working on the eastern section of the North Hot Tunnel heading west. And we're going down inside, being dangled down, to look at the work taking place inside the shaft. So this is a, a man rider, um, so essentially this is how we lift people in and out of the shafts. Uh, you can see there's three lovely gentlemen there, sitting, waiting uh, patiently to get in. They'll be lifted in using this 70 ton crane in the background and be lifted into our main shaft. So we've got a larger 20 meter diameter shaft just behind you and to my right we've also got a slightly smaller one, 15 meter diameter at the surface but this bells out to a much larger diameter under, underneath the ground. I'm glad I brought my wide angled lens because we are going in and it is uh, it's a little small space. Here we go. Doors being slammed. Okay. And we're on the move. Not at all freaky. I didn't think I had vertigo. <laughs> and we're going down. Mind the doors, mind the gap. Here we go. Lovely. Are you worried that there's water on, on the ground already? No, not at all. Um, as Chris mentioned before, groundwater is quite a big issue at this particular site, but the level of water here is is uh, that's just part of the site management, um, and it's rained quite a lot recently, so yeah, nothing <laughs> yeah, to be concerned yeah, about. So we're 40 metres down, and behind you is what? Right there. So this is part of the, uh, well, you can see the face of the shutter pipe. Um, still got all of its temporary reinforcement in it. That's the spokes of the section of steelwork that you can see inside inside this section is, as we mentioned, that is where the upline Norfolk Tunnels East TBM will arrive. Um, it will actually be the second TBM to come into the shaft because the down, because the upline Norfolk Tunnels West TBM will arrive in the space just behind you um, slightly beforehand. So there's, there's, there's a bit of a dance between Norfolk Tunnels West TBM arriving, coming into the can, which we've seen being assembled at the surface, uh, being removed, can reassembled and then the NTE, as we refer to it, Norfolk Tunnels East uh, tunnel boring machine, and then arriving later, same process happened. So, um, yeah, no, it's good to, good to see it in the flesh, isn't it? Yeah, so we, we've got a lot of different stratas that we're digging through um, to build this shaft that we're standing in today. Um, to actually be able to do that, we've had to install quite a few dewatering wells. Um, you can actually see some in the shaft pipe work around basically trying to take that water from, out, from within the shaft, outside the shaft, and put it back into the ground elsewhere. And all of that is, a, is essentially depressurizing and stopping the forces of that water pushing up against the bottom of the shaft. Obviously, there's issues of base heave, if there's too much pressure. Um, Did you say base heave? Base heave. So this That's is a word I've not heard before. So this is where the base of the shaft destabilizes. So okay. the force actually physically pushing up destabilizes the shaft. Obviously, that's not a safe way to build things. So this is where we have the, the dewatering well suit to tackle that issue. Whoa. Nice. So to get your orientation, West Ryslip is that way. London is that way. Two TBMs will come from here, two TBMs will come from here, and they'll disassemble them and then take them up. Ta da! <laughs> up to the top. And that, by the way, is just a cross passage through uh, to the other side. Rebar, the thickest rebar I've ever seen, with a cap and a protector on top to uh, keep it clean. Okay, we've got to go back in the crazy uh, swing and lift thing. It's the only reason I came, just because it's fun. This isn't your first time. You've done uh, this a lot. Quite a few it's times, still fun, no. isn't it? Is, is it the funnest part of your day? It, get a good view. <laughs> definitely get a good view in, the, in, in here. Um, yeah, definitely a fun experience. 
Not when it's windy, but... <laughs> oh, that, well, yeah, when it's windy, is it? That must be a little bit... No. Hang on, can it get so windy that you're not allowed to come in here? Correct, yeah. Wow. So if, it's, if it's too high winds, we, we won't be coming in. So you, you, you monitor the wind for safety? Exactly, yeah. Gosh. Then, yeah. then what do you do? Then no work takes place? No work takes place in the shaft whilst, whilst the high winds, in case there's any emergencies, we can't get people out. So right. obviously right. That, that's a fact that we have to consider. As always, when I visit any HS2 site, the sheer scale and size of the project is always somewhat overwhelming. And there was just time to get a photo as well from the official viewing gallery. That was kind of fun. Thank you so much to HS2 for inviting us all down today and having a look round down inside the shaft. That was fantastic. Hope you learned a thing or two. If you like this kind of stuff, press subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.